Hi friends! In this video we are going to be talking about my awesome bucket list for my dogs this year. Today is a good day. And you know why that is? Because it's officially autumn! Means no one can dispute it with me, no one can tell me that it's too early or that I'm lying. No, it is officially autumn. I have my tea with me and today I have it in this Westlife cup or mug that I got when I went to Westlife concert last month, which was officially the best concert I've ever been to in my life. So I've actually been to Westlife a few times. I went to the child like 20 years ago. I went to the Coast Coast tour, the Unbreakable tour, and like two other tours as well. So I went for like four years from when I was like, I think nine until 13. So seeing them again 20 years later is just so much nostalgia for me. Like, do you ever know all the words to a song but you can't remember what the song is? It was like that kind of thing for me. It's like, I would just be singing along to all the words and I'm like, what is this song? And then like the chorus would hit and I'd be like, oh, amazing, I'm so excited. Um, best concert ever. I went with my mom, my sister, and we just danced and sang the entire time. Like everybody was obsessed. Everybody was just dancing and happy. It was like, it was like the happiest place ever. So yeah, this month I'm going to see Gareth Brooks. So <laughs> my childhood is like, we were talking about this earlier. My, our childhood is like Gareth Brooks, Michael Jackson, uh, Westlife, Britney Spears, Eminem, like, <laughs> it's such a mixture of everything. But Garth Brooks is someone I also grew up with and so it's going to be kind of a nostalgic thing as well. I've never seen him live though, um, but let me tell you, he's going to have to put on one hell of a show uh, to compete with Westlife because Westlife were amazing. But anyway, you're not here for the Westlife TED Talk. Um, you're here to find out what I'm going to be doing with my dogs this autumn. I have not seen this done before. That was my cat, by the way, in case it sounded like I was getting broken into. She just jumped off of the bed onto the wooden floor. Um, we've all wooden floors in the house. So um, yeah, I have not seen this done before. So maybe I'm late to the party. Maybe I've seen other people do this, but I have never seen it done. I've seen people do it, like humans, um, but I've never seen it done for dogs. And I thought it might be fun. I did one for myself last year and I really want to do one for my dogs this year. So all this stuff that I'm talking about here is stuff that you can do too. Actually, I've created a little bingo board, um, which will be on social media. So you can check it out in my highlights in... Um, the story underneath the stories or it'll be in the stories then it'll be in the highlights okay um and you can take that and use that and fill it in as you go along please leave me a comment below if you do decide to fill it in because we can like fill it together it'll be fun so with this this is kind of a sneak peek of some of the stuff i'm going to be doing in my vlogs um throughout the autumn season i did not include any halloween stuff i do have lots of halloween content and things coming but I did not decide to include that in my autumn bucket list ideas. Maybe I'll do a Halloween one. Maybe I'll make this like a thing, you know, where it's like I can do seasonal and do holidays. We'll see. Anyway, so this is my first one and let me know what you think. Hmm. That's like tea. Mm. That is good. Okay, so number one is letting your dog try autumn foods. Um, my dogs do try a lot of foods, but um, I haven't tried them with pumpkin yet. And I think apple and cranberry, um, I think they're okay for dogs too. If not, I'm gonna write up here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna make a list of all the kind of autumn foods and I'm going to try them out with my dogs and see what they like and what they don't like. So that is the first one. Number two is go for an autumn walk. This is an easy one, kind of an easy to take off one. Um, I assume almost everybody walks their dogs. So if that's the case, then, you know, doing an autumnal style walk, maybe, you know, all the autumn vibes, maybe autumn drink, autumn, you know, outfit and 
I don't know, going in a place that's all trees and leafy and maybe forest might be kind of cool. So I'm planning on doing something really autumnal like that in an upcoming vlog. The next is get your dogs involved in the autumn style. So this can be coats. My dogs have loads of coats. If you haven't seen that video already, I will link here and down below. And it's just all my dog's clothes that they have. Um, they could wear bandanas, collar terms, or even harnesses that are an autumnal style. So if your dog is not a fan of coats, there are definitely ways that you can like dress them for the occasion. The next one is to bake some autumn treats. I don't know if you're like me, but I love to bake and not only for myself, but for my dogs too. So I'm going to see if I can get one that's kind of like maybe good for dogs and good for humans. I mean, pretty much everything I make is good for humans, but it just doesn't taste as sweet because there's no sugar and stuff in it. Um, so either I'm going to do like a dog version with human version kind of counterpart or maybe one that's good for both. That could be fun too. The next one is to go for a picnic. So I think I would like to do this more coastal, maybe by the beach or something like that. Um, but I'm not sure if I'll get the autumn vibes that way. So we will see and go for an autumn like picnic and maybe bring a nice book or something and have a really nice autumn day with the baked treats as well. That might be pretty cool too. Next is to go to a farmer's market. So we have a couple of farmer's markets that um, happen weekly around where we live. So I think I might check one out, um, especially when we're really into autumn um, so that I can get all those like autumn shots with the veg and the, you know, the products and things like that. And maybe pick up some nice um, pumpkins or squash or something. That would be really cool to get the farmer's market. Next one is also kind of an easy one and that is to take some autumn pictures with your dog. So that could be in their little coat or their little bandanas and their autumn style. Could be near autumn leaves or trees or maybe an autumn scene, something like that. But yeah, I think that's kind of a cute thing to do. So I added it to the list. And last but not least, you know I gotta add this and that is their autumn groom. So for the autumn time, give them a nice bath. Also, they'll be if you've got a shedder, they'll be shedding. So it's good to get that autumn bath and get all that dead hair out. Brushing, 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 as I always say. And yeah, so get them a nice little clean and spruce up for the autumn time of year. So that is it for my little autumn bucket list for my dogs this year. Um, let me know down below if you plan on doing this as well or maybe you have some different items on your list that I didn't think of and maybe I want to add them in and do them too. So it is kind of a little sneak peek and what you can expect coming forward in some of the vlogs. Um, so yeah, I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. And if you want to connect with me um, on my social media, you can check out the Lover Dogs Facebook group or the Instagram account. And you can also check out the website as well and become one of the Lover Dogs pack, which would be absolutely amazing. So I hope to see you over there and I can't wait to connect with you. And please leave me a comment below if you love autumn as much as I do. So I will talk to you soon. And uh, yeah, I guess this is goodbye. Bye.